So you go out and search for that. So I think photographers are their own worst enemies in some ways because they're not imaginative enough to see how far they can push these ideas. And certainly nowadays when I'm working on a new project, it's, it's quite hard for me to think, oh, I wonder how this would look on the iPad. Or maybe I could make a multimedia out of this. Or maybe I could make a film out of it. Or, yeah, my, my automatic thing is, send it to a magazine, make some big prints, put them in black frames, stick them on the wall and sell them. Uh, and really that's not good enough, I don't think, anymore. You have to come up with new ideas. What will this look like on a web page? What would this look like as a half-hour TV documentary on Arte? Uh, what would this look like as uh, something we produce in a big newspaper? We give away thousands of them for free, uh, and I get it paid for by some commercial company that gives me the free ink or something. You know, you need to have these new creative ways of doing things. Very, very multi-platform. Um, and to go back to your first question about why should you do a course, why should you, because you need to see and experiment with these new things. You need to have someone that will introduce you to these things.